everyone cindy here welcome back to my channel i'm here to film a plan with me for the week of july 13th through the 19th and there has to be noise going on right now um this is like my third time trying to film this uh voiceover my dogs keep barking and outside is just people outside are being rude but anyway um instead of talking about like the plans this week i thought i would do like a q a so i put a um question box on my stories on instagram a few like days ago and asked you guys for some questions so i'm just going to be answering that instead of talking about um my plans this week if you want to see like the stickers more in depth depth or want to know like where i got a sticker from you can either leave it in the comment section down below or i post my spreads on instagram so you can go and check my tags on there or um yeah just dm me or something so my first question is from planning kalo hey kristen how are you um she asked what's my go-to karaoke song and my go-to karaoke song is don't stop believing by journey and this song reminds me of like the karaoke um like musical version that glee did and i'm very very upset and sad about naya rivera's passing and i just hope that she's resting in peace um but yeah that song reminds me of glee and like high school and <laughs> like fun times um pen and plans asked what are my go-to pens so i do have like three pens that are my go-to pens the one that i'm using a lot um and have been using a lot for like the past year is the uniball signo ultra micro micro 307 and it's in 0.38 um it's a black ink pen it's the one that i used in my video this week and probably <laughs> all of my videos that you have seen on my channel um since i returned to youtube um, I got this, you can get it off cloth and paper, but it's more affordable if you get it off Amazon and it's like, you can get like a five pack of them. I'll put my like Amazon link for it in the description box down below, but I'd prefer to get it on Amazon because you can get like five of them for a really decent price. Um, the, the pen that I used before this uh, Uniball, Uniball <laughs> Signo pen was the um, Papermate, Papermate ink joy gel pen in 0 0.5 um i like the skinny tip of the 0 0.5 um i know that some people have had like problems with it skipping and stuff but um i have like a few pens of it skip but i didn't really have too much problems with it so that is a favorite pen of mine my other favorite pen is one that i got in the cloth and paper um sub box and right now it's sold out on her website and i've been trying to get it for like i don't even know how long months and months and months now my dog teddy ended up chewing the bottom portion of the pen so like it looks janky so i can't really use it in videos or um instagram like pictures but I really, really do enjoy the pen. It is a like small tip barrel pen. Um, it's called Monami, Monami, M-O-N-A-M-I, and it is a 0 0.4. Um, it's 0 0.4, and Cloth and Paper doesn't even have it on her website anymore, and it's been sold out for like months so all i have is this like chewed up barrel and i'm pretty sad about it because um i don't even know where to get another one <laughs> so those are my favorite go-to pens uh lauren from plan mosh plans asked me all-time favorite vacation i've ever taken my favorite vacation i've ever taken was when i went to haiti in 2015 for the first time and just being around like people that spoke um, Haitian Creole, my language, and like seeing the culture and um, being around my family, I really enjoyed um, that vacation. And I like got to saw like where my mom grew up, and it was just I really, really liked and enjoyed that vacation. And I will go back. <laughs> I need to like take some time when I get off or finish law school to go back. It's just hard to like take a long vacation because when I went there the first time, I was there for like 
three weeks um and I can't really do that right now during like a long semester and like exams and stuff like that so I would really like to go back um Katiana asked me several questions so she asked me what my favorite season is and why um my favorite season is fall um because it's my birthday is in fall first off <laughs> my birthday is in October so that's why I like the fall um season and I also like the fashion like scarves and boots and sweaters I really like like that trench coat scarf type of vibe and I also like that it's not very very cold because <laughs> I do not like winter because of the frigid weather and I like that it's not not like not really hot which is why I don't like summer I like summer activities and I do like the I do enjoy the heat but I just don't like when it gets so hot that I'm like sweating um <laughs> so I really really enjoy um fall spring would be my second favorite but I don't like that it's like rainy in <laughs> the springtime um and the bugs I don't really like that in the springtime either so fall all the way um the next question she asked is the superior superpower in my opinion um superior superpower I would say I'm not actually quite sure I feel like I would say um like teleportation just because I feel like that's the superpower I would want if I like uh, had a superpower is teleportation because I honestly do not like driving um when I first got my license yeah I enjoyed it because it's like cool I got my license I get to drive a car but like now it's just like I, it's not something I enjoy um my job is like 40 minutes away from my house and then my school is like 30 minutes like away from my job and my house so it's like I'm commuting all the time and I don't like spending time in the car so if I could just teleport places that I want to go or need to go then I feel like I would enjoy that a lot more um planners and tacos Shanice hey girl asked my favorite movie and food um food I'm not really a snack person I'm a, a meal person so I like having like full meals if I have to have snacks um the only snacks I really keep in the house is like popcorn maybe some like goldfish like the cheddar blast goldfish and all types of like sweet desserts like cakes and cookies candy I like that um favorite food food like meal wise everything like literally everything I like pizza I like steak I like burgers I like I just enjoy food I'm a definitely a foodie favorite movie um I feel like I don't really have a favorite movie my favorite Disney movie would be like Pocahontas um but I don't really have like a favorite movie per se um Domi from Bonjour Domi asked what is your favorite movie oh I already asked that uh, or Shanice already asked that and who are my favorite non-planner youtubers um so when I'm not like watching planner videos on youtube I'm watching like fashion home improvement <laughs> type videos and my watch list is extremely long um for like fashion and makeup I like watching like Alyssa Forever for like weight loss journey type of things I like watching Justin's journey um for like home improvement there's this one girl that I like watching um I forgot her name but she's like really really good at like home improvement DIYs and like my whole like her whole house I want my house to look like her <laughs> when I grow up because she has like a little bar out in the back it's just it's really really cute um some other like people that I'm subscribed to that I really like is um Mr. Kate like I really really enjoy like watching her like home improvement videos 
Hanging with the Hughes, um, Tara Michelle. I'll put them in the in the description box down below if you guys want to check them out. But Nitra B. Um, let's see. Oh, I like watching like choreography, like dancing videos too. So like, um, I like watching Queens and Lettos a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, those are just a few. Uh, planning with Marie asked, how many planners do you use and what are they each used for? Um, I actually need to like do an updated planner system, um, video here on my YouTube channel because I honestly use a lot of planners, but it works for me because I categorize things and like to use I don't know how to explain it like my brain works where I can put things in different categories I guess like compartmentalize I guess that's how they say it um different things in different categories and I need like a separate planner to do such so right now I have my a5 rings right now I'm using a um official not official i'm using a filofax a5 a filofax and a black saffiano um leather i switched from this one to my nude cloth and paper a5 rings i was gonna get a um i was gonna get the like the new color i forgot what it's called saddle i think of the a5 um cloth and paper rings but one it's super expensive um it was like 160 dollars and i can't afford that <laughs> right now anyway and i already have two a5s like one is black one is nude and yeah like the saddle is like a deeper brown which is really luxe looking and i really like the color but i don't need it i just wanted it and i'm trying to like pay off some debts and stuff right now so i figured I would just forego using it but that planner I use for my everyday like <clears throat> my everyday as my everyday planner um so all of my tasks are in here I keep track of like my finances um I use this for school a little bit um like right now I'm using my a5 uh I'm using my like calendar, my cloth and paper insert calendar for like my studying schedule. Um, I have lists in here, my PR trackers in here. I do some meal prep in here, etc. So um, yeah, that's what I use this one for, like A5, minimal planning, minimal stickers, pen, highlighter, that type of thing. I also have a print pressions pre-planner um I'm only using that because I have like half of the pages left I had some print impressions kits here that I wanted to use because um I just had them and I figured I would just use it but technically I take my pre my pre-plans from my a5 and I just transfer them into my um pp weeks planner so I don't really use my print impressions weeks planner functionally I just use it like decoratively and just put my pre-plans on here um use it for an extra video uh, extra post on Instagram so there's that I also um before the whole like Erin Condren thing I had bought a budget um sorry I had bought a monthly planner to use as my like budget planner um, so I am using that for like finance, like budgeting goals because I, um, have some like debts I need to pay off. I'm trying to buy a house before 2021. So, um, I'm trying to save money for that and just all things finance related are, th is, um, I'm using that planner for. I also have a academic planner. From EC that I'm using that I already bought. Um, this is my last year of law school and I found that for the past three years that has been working for me so I'm gonna continue using it until 
it's done um, and I won't really need an academic planner after this year so that's really been working for me and then I have um, two memory planners so in total I'm using like six planners my two memory planners are my A5 um, or Estelle Cloud which is what you're seeing me planning right now with the caress press inserts and then I had already bought an EC memory like a EC life planner to use for my memory plans um, but then the whole thing happened I didn't really feel comfortable filming in it um, or using that to post on my Instagram and I had bought my or Estelle cloud on pre-sale to use it for next year um, so I figured I would just make the switch now and just use that for like off camera um, memories and like more personal things that I can write down and I really enjoy um, using that because filming like a video is a long process and I also feel like I can't write down um, exactly what I want to like extremely personal things in my planner because um, I do share on social media and I don't like really want the whole world to know all of my business so I really am enjoying to using that planner like off camera just personally for me and I have enough kits to do so <laughs> because I'm a planner hoarder and I have a problem <laughs> so those are the six planners that I'm using it works for me for right now um, do I need the print passion planner no um, the academic planner will be I won't be using one after this year and so normally how many planners like would I use on a normal basis probably just my everyday carry planner my memory planner and my finance planner um, so just those three and before this year I had my finance academic planner all in one it was like my life academic finance planner so uh my little tip is just use what you have like you don't need all of the planners um if your brain works like in a way where um it you need like different planners for different categories in your life i would say try to find like cheaper alternatives but or just do what works for you um but yeah, that's how many planners I use in my planner system. Let me know if you guys would like to see a more in-depth video of like my planners and how I use them and what's inside. Um, yeah, there's that. Um, Katiana also asked some more questions. <laughs> um, that's my little planner sister, y'all. She is um, Haitian as well, and she lives in Germany right now. Um, so her last question was like country I have always wanted to travel to slash will I come visit her after COVID and of course I would come visit you after COVID um, I really want to see like I really want to travel like the world um, right now school and finances are hindering me from that also COVID right now I can't really go anywhere because I do have asthma and I'm like I can't literally leave my house or I'm not gonna say I'm gonna die, that's dramatic, but I really do not wanna catch COVID. Um, so I'm like trying to stay home. But country I've always wanted to travel to, uh, literally all of Europe, um, France, Italy, Rome, like just anywhere in Europe. I haven't really been many places. Um, one, because of like, finances and two I was like sheltered I guess as a child so my mom didn't really let me go anywhere <laughs> she barely even let me like have a sleepover at my friend's or cousin's house so she definitely didn't want to like let me travel and I've been in school um my whole life so I feel like the next chapter of my life which is like next year um like this time next year will be kind of scary because I'll be out of school and hopefully I, I would have passed the bar and have like a adult attorney job um, and a house. I'm trying to speak all these things into existence <laughs> um, and hopefully 
I'll be able to travel more um, and use my vacation time for actually vacation, for vacationing instead of um, taking days off to study for my finals, like final exams, because that's literally what I've been doing for the past couple years, four years, um, is taking days off to study for my final exams instead of taking it for vacation. Um, this summer, I had a break from school, so it would have been the best time to travel, but COVID happened, so just taking a break inside the house, I guess. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for joining me um, for this plan with me. I do have like a couple videos that I want to film for the month of August since it's already like July 27th when I'm filming this. Um, but like I said in my last video, I'm probably going to be taking like a hiatus or I won't be as consistent with, I mean, I haven't been consistent now, but <laughs> it'll be even worse in the month of August because I have an exam to take in the middle of August and then school starts at the end. So I thank you so much for joining my video and I will, I will see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.